This was really fun last year. So one thing that's really important with our labs is that we don't just look at a snapshot, but we look at the trends, what's happening over time. So we have a worksheet that you may have seen me put up during the problematic PowerPoint uh, that you get as one of your handouts. And if you're not able to run those labs for yourself, depending on where you are in the country or in the world, we are able to help you get those labs run. So that's an additional cost, but we can help you get the labs if you're working with a practitioner who says that the full scope isn't needed. And you'll get those labs run either with your primary care doc or from your files that you have. We want something that's pretty recent as the most latest. If we have back numbers, that's awesome. And you will submit those. And first come, first serve, we will have a powwow where we go for two hours just reviewing labs. And even if yours don't get reviewed, you will learn so much from what I'm seeing and reflecting in the other labs. So you'll be looking at your worksheet, I'll be telling you what I see, and I'll be telling you what I think that means or what that means for that next person's uh, next actions. And if they're on the powwow with me, I may bring them on, ask a few questions, help them determine their next steps, and we just we move through as many as we can. And we did a good job of it last year, really just focusing on those thyroid labs and having a serious powwow looking at thyroid lab numbers and gaining a deeper understanding of our own protocol, but what those differences in numbers might mean for us.